Bear Grylls is one of the world's best-known adventurers. A former 21 SAS man, he scaled Everest, crossed the Arctic Ocean in an inflatable boat, and explored some of the remotest wildernesses on Earth. Miranda Hart Hello. hasn't. The 39-year-old comedian was catapulted to fame by the huge success of her self-titled sitcom, hailed as a return to TV comedy's golden age. But her idea of adventure is a stroll in the park followed by a latte. She's about to leave her comfort zone far behind She's down. as she accepts Bear's invitation to join him high in the Swiss Alps. My hero. Treacherous glaciers. Really quite surreal day at the office today. Sheer ice cliffs. Oh, my God! And a freezing night under canvas await. You're not going to piss in here. It's going to be a weekend she'll never forget. Have you just broken wind? Yeah. I have a very <laughs> loose bowel right now. <laughs> tomorrow morning I'm going to Heathrow to see Bear Grylls in Switzerland. From then on I don't know what's going to happen. Uh, this is my, um, my little leather suitcase that I'm quite proud of. I have a little silk shirt that's quite new um, because I'm hoping that we're just basically going for a jolly and we'll be able to stay in a nice uh, restaurant one evening and go out for a meal. I'll never wear that shirt, we so won't be going for a meal. Wish me luck, I don't know what I'm going to be doing. And, um, yeah, Bear, be nice to me. It's the night before her adventure. Miranda arrives at a chalet in the foothills of the Alps. Oh, it's nice. I'm shutting you out because it's freezing. Bear's left her the kit she'll need for the next two days. A size large, fair enough. Did it have to be, uh, did it have to be men's? Did it have to be a men's long john? I'm just, I'm just flagging that up. Men's. Further up the valley, Bear readies the equipment for their expedition. It's a pretty cold November morning in the Alps. Uh, but, you know, I'm excited. We're about to pick Miranda up, put her in the chopper, and fly up to the high mountains. The challenges up there are going to be the cold and the altitude. She's not the fittest girl in the world, but I've also learned in the wild not to prejudge uh, anybody or anything, and I think she's going to do great. Bear knows the real reasons why Miranda wants to take on this mission. Yeah, I think people think they know Miranda because they see her as this fun, bubbly kind of comedian who falls over a lot but actually like a lot of comics I think there's a lot more to her <laughs> do you like it she's got a lot of insecurities a lot of fears a lot of self-doubt you know we, we all have a bit of that but I think she's really taken on a lot of that in her life in the event of an accident or illness in the mountains and help being required well this is encouraging I suppose what I want to do is, A, to show people the other side of her, uh, but also to help her overcome some of her fears that I think have really weighed her down. And the wild and the mountains have a wonderful way of liberating people because they take you into the moment. And that's what I love. I really wanted to do it because I just wanted to be brave and be that person rather than the fearful, scared of everything person, which I've just got a silly habit of being. My friends who know me really well are saying, brilliant, you go for it and, you know, become you again. Stop fearing. So it's quite, yeah, quite exciting. <laughs> Welling up. Particularly scared of the notion of a helicopter, which I've never been in. Don't like heights. Really don't like heights. I am claustrophobic. I'd forgotten to add that to this. I don't like lifts. A helicopter's quite small, isn't it? That's basically a flying lift. <laughs> Bear is taking Miranda to the Matterhorn region of the Swiss Alps. Their two-day adventure starts in the Zinal Valley, but he's flying her straight up to 9,000 feet into the heart of the mountains. I'm so scared. 
scared of helicopters. Oh, it's quite close. Before she knows it, Miranda's on her first ever helicopter flight. Oh my god. Just keep looking at the scenery because it's amazing. Definitely close to tears now. Doing great, keep gripping the hand. Honestly, I'm having a complete out-of-body experience. I cannot believe that I'm doing this. <laughs> I know great. this is normal for you, and it must be really weird that someone is so scared, but it's literally my worst nightmare. And there you go, there's the Matterhorn. Isn't that beautiful? When, when I land, yeah. I mean, we're so lucky to see her like this. So lucky. Oh. I think I'm just going to talk to you and tell you some stories. Yeah, talk. Matterhorn. First climb by Edward Wimper in 1860. Okay, no, tell me interesting stories. And he was the first guy ever climbed, a British guy, which is nice. Although, three of his party did die on the way down, so rope broke. Maybe Thanks for that. Maybe we should focus on that bit. <laughs> okay, we're gonna start descending. Is that normal? Great. Do you promise? They're landing in deep snow on the edge of a glacier high above the valley. At this altitude, the air is far thinner than Miranda is used to. Every single step here will feel exhausting. I can't think of another experience in life that I've hated so much. <laughs> Couldn't enjoy any of it. I was properly Terrified. I'm really sorry. Well, the thing is, we're on the ground you and right you're now. okay. And no, it's don't. all going to be great from here. But the journey for us is basically going to be from high to low. So we're going to move through snow, crevasses, uh, glaciers, down to the gorges of forests. Trust me, I will look after you. I trust you. Uh, but it is the so... ultimate playground. So just enjoy it. Follow me. Let's go. <laughs> She's down. <laughs> Probably got a lot of emotion pumping through you. I just, I sort of feel like I'm on the verge of a panic attack. I'm quite breathless. Yeah. Uh, heart's well, that's... pumping more than normal. And it's just quite intimidating, isn't it, in a yeah. environment like this? Hit well, in the is. middle of nowhere. And you do feel quite. I've never quite been small. in the middle of nowhere before. I've got my hero. Brilliant, we're going to be all right. Okay, let's get them to this bit. Oh, man. I'm not fit enough for mountaineering. Bear and Miranda's objective is to cross the Xenol Glacier before heading to its leading edge, where a 30-foot ice cliff awaits. A tough day out for me would be uh, shopping in Westfield. That's quite tough. I love your Union Jack on the back of it as well. Great. Do you know, we used to climb with the Union Jack on our rucksacks on Everest so the Germans can know who's overtaking them. Can we pretend this is Everest? Let's do it. <laughs> just uh, is the Himalayas. Look at that for a backdrop, you know. Amazing. The sun's coming higher in the sky now. We're going to see more and more of it. It's going to be great. Stunning. Oh. A bit more incline again. <laughs> and then we yep. get a view over all of that. Wow. Here. Woohoo! Happy? Yeah. Just quite tired. 
Everything okay. up a mountain is exhausting, it turns out. She's doing great. I mean, I think there was quite a lot of sensory overload at the start, just because, you know, it's natural. You had a lot of adrenaline from the helicopter. Oh, the sun. Uh, we've got a slightly more committing next phase, um, but I think she'll be all right. Yeah, he's quite earnest. I'll uh, tell him a few jokes later and see what happens. I'll just throw a, bit, a ball of snow in his face. Bear and Miranda need to be cautious over the next section. The thin layer of snow can conceal deep crevasses on the glacier, and for safety, they'll need to be roped together. OK, so I'm going to be out in front. OK. All right. And, um, you know, as I said, the danger here is what the snow covers, so it's the unseen danger. And then if I go in, sit down, boom, you might break, I'll climb out, or find a different way around stuff, OK? Be cautious on this, you know, I'm not joking. Very nearly died on Everest down a crevasse. <laughs> Fell down a deep 300 foot one. Life was saved by the person who was on the back of that rope. So I've learned a healthy no pressure. respect over the years for crevasses. <laughs> <laughs> nice twinkle toes, light foot. Twinkle toes? <laughs> I don't, that's something I've never been called. <laughs> I always think this um, sitting in my house writing a sitcom is fairly torturous. But now I'm with Bear with what he does. Um, takes massive proper risks that, you know, could end in more than tears. So really quite surreal day at the office today. I know. You're doing so great, you know. Get to the top of this ridge, we have a proper sit down. I've even got a surprise in my pack. It's my favourite mountain recipe. You're going to love it. Oh, that feels good. That is a much needed sit down. Well, well done. <sighs> quite fearful of being in areas where there are no cafes. I quite like regular. A regular sit-down, a regular cuppa, a regular fuel. And then I think to myself, I wonder why I never lose weight. <laughs> I think, though, kind of mountaineers get it pretty right, don't you? You know, a nice, you know, bit of porridge oats up the mountain. Yeah. How do you think women would do it differently? We'd have um, cans yeah. that included a little box of sort of treats, like mm. wet wipes, Yes. a bit of perfume. <laughs> some chocolates. <laughs> Not just, I mean, I'm sure this is going to be delicious. Oats, when you're at altitude, do give you quite bad wind. Oh. I must warn you. Well, if that's the case, then I must warn you this. I will have wind. <laughs> yeah, right? Yeah, Who doesn't fart? Can't wait for the campsite <laughs> later. <laughs> Even the Queen farts. Don't be ridiculous. Yeah, she does. Of course she does. If you were sharing uh, a camp in a campsite with the Queen, Right. Yes. She'd break wind in your face. Guaranteed. <laughs> That's high treason. <laughs> and anyone who says they don't find farting funny is a wrong un. <laughs> well, this is ready. Try that. Okay. Slightly worried it's not going to be as good as I've built it to be. Right. Okay. That's delicious. <laughs> because That's... I'm up a mountain and I'm really hungry and tired. <laughs> That's great energy for up here, and then we've got a big mission. Drinking oats. From here. Thank you for this. OK, finish that out, and then we'll get moving. I find life quite frightening. That's sort of my general rule. <laughs> Should I like to stick by? If in doubt, panic. Lower down the valley, the snowy landscape gives way to a boulder-strewn expanse. As the glacier gradually carves its way through the mountain, it brings with it millions of tons of debris and rocks. Bit of a nightmare to kind of move on, but we just take our time, watch out for kind of ankle twisting, so just make it nice and steady. Honestly, it's terrifying. Thanks. He's going off like a mountain gazelle on his own. Oh my god. 
Mountain heifer. No, that's not very nice. Probably a good hundred foot deep of solid ice. Oh my lord. Seems to be a um, vertical drop there. I could well up now. I don't know quite why. I might just have to live here. Just, just stay here forever. I think that's favourable, to be fair. There's only 30 feet of, but it is sheet ice, this. And yeah, it looks tantalisingly close, but let's just be safe. Put a rope in, put an ice screw somewhere back here, and we'll lower each other down, all right? <laughs> I love. It's only 30 foot sheer ice, only 30 foot. <laughs> it, it only comes when it's two foot. <laughs> <laughs> well, I only say it's only 30 feet because you look all around this up there. Yeah. You know, it's like 200 foot. So I'm Protection just, from now on in, I'm just doing what you say. Because okay, good, follow me. This is, this is way off piste pun. Thank you. Do you want to kind of help me do no. some screwing? <laughs> <laughs> Not really, no. <laughs> I think you're doing a marvellous job. <laughs> what are you get. doing? So I was having a rummage in your nether regions. Took you in and met you. 100% safe. Never been more happy. <laughs> I've got a great Swiss treat for the bottom. You're going to love it. So a bank account? That's <laughs> right. <laughs> oh, God, I knew I forgot something. <laughs> right, on that note. Oh, my gosh! Go on, off oh, go. my gosh. That's quite scary. All right. It really is sheer ice. Doing Woo! great. Oh, oh my God. Last six feet. Yay! Down. I'm down. Happy. And I'm not out. Ooh. Oh, that's much more effective and then than we get my it all on the, the way back. <laughs> Hooray! Well done. Give us a hug. You're off that glass. You done yes. brilliantly. Well done. I know you were struggling at the end of that little yeah, bit. Yeah, I really was. But do you know what? So was I, and that's all right. Oh, look. <laughs> what? <laughs> Been what? a bit of an incident in the trouser department. I think lowering I you down the ice. I knew something would have happened. What's happened? Can you... <laughs> look, this is what you've got coming out of your backside. <laughs> Are they completely ripped? Um, yeah. I need but to You know, do... actually, this would make brilliant... <laughs> I hate to take it from your trousers, but this would make brilliant tinder for the fire later. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> let's not have your favourite. It's favorite. like you're going to light a fire with my bottom. Yeah, well, actually, that would be... Perfect, we've got Tinder and then we've got... With methane. With methane. <laughs> okay, go. <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> what do you mean, go? Am I shimming down there? Yes, yeah, shimmy. Bear's got Miranda to the base of the glacier. Wow. Pretty cool, though, isn't it? It's amazing. Over thousands of years, water flowing underneath the ice has hollowed out a huge ice cave. Oh, my goodness. Have these fallen off? Yeah, that's all come off the roof. OK, so it could land on my head. So let's keep moving. Oh, yeah, yeah, could we? Wow. It's like the most beautiful ice sculpture. Yeah. You ever been anywhere like this? No. <laughs> oh, it's absolutely stunning. It's amazing, isn't it? OK, I promise you a Swiss treat. Ta-da! Saucisson. <laughs> Saucisson. Thank you, that's a, a big hunk of meat. Sorry, it's not... <laughs> mm. <laughs> I'm a lucky lady. <laughs> Saucy. <laughs> Cheeky. <laughs> Cheeky. But was it a, what you expected, this? I didn't know what to expect. Actually, you were incredible up there. But, but I did it... fall over a few times. Yeah, but so did I. Yeah, yeah that's it true. It was great. It was great. Yeah, I suppose I'm not the complete buffoon that sitcom around enjoys. She says, tucking into some. Yeah, well, I think that's why this sort of thing is great, because people get to see you, who 
to be honest, has done brilliantly. So Thanks. respect where respect is due. Oh, Would you like good. a little bit more of my saucy song? Mm. Comedienne Miranda Hart is way out of her comfort zone. She's on a two-day adventure in the Swiss Alps with survivalist and chief scout Bear Grylls. Having spent the day crossing the crevasses and snowfields of the formidable Zinal Glacier, they're now looking for a place to camp. So is there a hotel? Is there Please a feel free. B &B? <laughs> Got a beautiful view. There you go. That's nature's TV for you, isn't it? Wow. I can't believe I'm going to be camping out in this. Have you been camping before? <laughs> you know. Were you in like the brownies or the guides? I was or... in the brownies, thank you. So I do deserve a, uh, what's the brownie signal? I can't do it with the gloves, that. No, that's, is that scouts? Yeah. That's brownies three, isn't no, it? No, no, that's scouts as well. Okay. So oh, perhaps be... I could now be, if you're head of scouts, do you think you could just get this a little bit higher? Like? I could be head of brownies. <laughs> Brilliant, they'd love I'm it. just putting that You'd out be there. Great. Who wants to be head of brownies for doing this? Okay, well, your first brownie test yeah. is um, help me set up camp. Get the tent. It's not a large tent because we've had to lug it through the mountains okay. today, but it will be great for us. Do you know what? I'm going to let you have a go with this. They're that's really, hilarious. you just go crisscross, crisscross into that. What? And that's, it's the simplest thing in the world. <laughs> right, I'm going to go and get firewood. I'll leave this with you. Well, right. Crisscross. Okay, right. I don't know how it works. Where would the ball? <laughs> this is really embarrassing. Hang on, where's the equivalent? Oh, there. Okay, no, wait, hang on. Get in there. People just think I'm an absolute idiot. It's going really well. I'm nearly, I've nearly got it. Great, great. Does it go through there? Because then that would do that. But how would it stay up? <laughs> because that, I mean, maybe he, just through the night, has to hold it like that. <laughs> it works. OK, this is... So, That's a fire. Great. So it hasn't, hasn't necessarily gone that well. No. I, I blame fatigue. And then we crisscross the other side here. Here we go. Hey, presto. I see how you do it. The tent. How impossibly get a bit. If you come in here. I can't believe the size of this tent. Two things will happen tonight. We'll either love each other by the end of it or hate each other. <laughs> no, it's a little good. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, let's get a fire going. Do you want some of my bottom kindling? Oh, bend over. Oh my god. I think this is one of my best looks. Okay, that's, that's kindling. Okay. Okay, we're good. Yay! Thank goodness. <laughs> I still feel like I can't really be here and I'm actually in Hammersmith. <laughs> so surreal. What's that? This is going to be fun, dude. <laughs> Jamie Oliver, eat your heart out. Love it. Get your chops around that. What is this? It's a bit of... Um, Homemade slow gin. <laughs> Are you serious? Yeah. Oh. Is that nice? That's magic. Brilliant. I'm going to have another well, swig actually before you, I give it back to you. You've earned it. And look, let me get the bread out and we do some dipping in the uh, fondue. It's pretty strong. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Look at the silhouette. That's amazing. That is cool, isn't it? They actually look like they're sort of... They look like they've moved towards us. Well, if I've done nothing more apart from just give you an amazing sense of the stillness and the beauty and the way the mountains change and the different lights and a bit of space and a bit of time and a chance to face some of your fears... Yeah, you've well, given me I'll all that. I feel really happy. Well, you, you should know. feel happy. It's the great outdoors and a view what makes your heart sing more than anything. 
It's always been your house. Yeah. But it's not just a beauty, but what I love is that you create strong relationships with, with people. You know, you don't have kind of fluffy relationships. You have real, you know, friendships. And you go up mountains together and you live with people weeks and weeks on end. So it that's becomes trouble. very raw, we and now, I love that. And we now only really have fluffy relationships with... Because we're all communicating all the time on email and Twitter and yeah, yeah. text, but we're not really communicating. Totally. I sort of suddenly found that I don't really know people like I used to know them. Because mm. you don't... Everyone's so busy and the television's on, the computer's on, there's just mm. constant noise and you sort of think you're in communication, but actually I don't think you are. Mm. If I may be so bold as to get philosophical on you. Anyway, enough of that. You just get sloshed and slow chin. Sure. <laughs> and tweet about it. <laughs> and tweet about <laughs> it. <laughs> Another campsite. <laughs> Brilliant. You know what? There's nowhere else I'd rather be right now. Total pleasure. Here's to you, Miranda. Cheers. We've got water. <laughs> Pea bottle. What That's do you my mean? pea bottle, okay? You're not gonna piss in here. <laughs> it's like a hot water bottle. Do you want me to pee Fairness, in it and then pass it to I you? I have to get up to pee. <laughs> you are getting out of this tent. I'm serious. Okay, shall I ditch your pee bottle and come and have a sympathy pee with you in the middle of the night? Yeah, you are not. What would you normally do then? Pee and then in, it'd be a hot water tent. bottle and then put it down your. Stick. No, you're joking. Do you are know what we used to do in the army in, in like. When... <laughs> We used to do, you'd poo, and then you'd wrap it in cling film, really wrap it up, and then pass it around and keep your hands warm. No, you're joking me. I'm not. Are you serious? Yeah. No, I don't believe you. That's absolutely true. So, Candice, I'm lucky it's just a pee bottle, Miss Miranda Hart. You're not allowed to piss in here tonight. Yeah, okay, I'll put that down. I'll come out, I will come out for a sympathy pee with it if you need to pee in the night. Yeah. I need the blue. That is so annoying. I hate it when people are fast asleep. Okay, then I'll just see. How do I do this? Why does anyone camp? It's ridiculous. Oh! Shh. <laughs> I don't know whether to go or not. Um. I've decided something. If I have to go, he has to come with me. Um. Oh gosh, sorry. Oh, I'm really sorry, Bear. I just right. slipped. Yeah. 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 Hey, whilst you're up, do you fancy taking me to the loo? Come on. I'm oh, no. so. I really am sorry about that. <laughs> it's all right. It's all right. I no, I didn't mean to do that at no, all. No, I promise I've come. Look, yeah. Also time. Oh, let's just go, come on. Come on. I need, I'll come uh, on to I knew you'd need to go, that's why I thought it's only fair to you, really. Have you got that on? Ugh. It's dawn, and it's always my favorite time of day. You know, Miranda's still asleep. I've got fire going, and it's all just really still and quiet. Right. Morning, um, which apparently it is. Whether you're in the Alps or in some jungle or whatever, there's a kind of a magic to that connection with kind of terra firma again that sometimes we lose back home. Yeah. So times like this are special. I understand that Bear, my hero, is making a fire and I'm meant to be getting up, but I really don't want to. I slept in gloves. That's how cold it was. I slept in gloves. There's quite a lot that Miranda's going to have to go through today because we're still actually quite high up. Actually, she's probably much stronger than people imagine. And part of being strong is being able to be cheerful when it's cold. <laughs> and she's definitely done that. Please note this. Too long for a 
for a tent. That's the feet sticking out. So Bear and I, too long for a tent, couldn't close the flaps. Good word. So, right, I better brave it. Open the... Help. I'm declaring I'm not going to get out the sleeping bag all day. <laughs> this is quite fun. Could you get a rope and just um, <laughs> pull me pull me down the mountain like this? There you go, perfect. Oh, that's brilliant. Can't believe I spent the night out here. Oh, Thanks, bit, dear. Are you a bit warmer now? No, it's still freezing. Really? Yeah. OK, look, do this. Grab my hand. OK, we're going to sprint like this. OK, go, go, go. Go on, move the knees. Go, go, go. Faster. Oh, it's too early for this. Go on! <laughs> bit better? It's exhausting. Let's do some stretching as well. OK. OK. What's that meant to be? Okay, stretching? come on then. Back leg straight. Bend that front knee. Arms out. This is yoga. Hips to the side. Nice and low. What are you actually doing? And then stretching? we're turning. Forward. And coming on to. Oh, sorry. Such <laughs> fun. It's time to strike camp and get the last day of their adventure underway. Miranda doesn't know it yet, but she's got one heck of a day in front of her. Guess what? Are we in the valley? It's getting flatter. Woo! You, know, you really see our route here. All the way off the high mountains. Wow. <laughs> so I'm a bit slower now because I feel so knackered. No, you're doing great. But I'm with you, I'm with you. Bear knows Miranda's energy reserves are running low. Adrenaline rushes, little sleep, and a long trek are taking their toll. To get back to civilization, they must first cross the river. Nice and steady. Bear has rigged a zip line across the gorge, and he wants Miranda to slide down with him. Can't do that, Bear. It's too high. For well, the river? No, the wire. I can't, I can't do it. OK, well, let's come down. We'll have a little look at it. I'm just too shattered. I know. We're, we're so close now. Done so great. It's finished, finished strong. And let me just take you here. I'm just mentally not, not there. This is easily strong enough. I'm not doing it. What about this? What about rather than, what about if I clip into it? I'm not going to say. And then I clip you in and we just, I hold you and we go together. I'm not doing it. I can't. I don't, I'm, that tiredness wasn't acting. No, no, I know. I feel really, really weak. There's no point um, filming it because I'm not doing it. I can't do that. Bear's experience tells him when to push and when to abandon the plan. I feel absolutely weak, I can hardly speak. Really? Yeah. She's been at altitude, she's been freezing cold, she hardly slept last night, she, and she's had huge highs of adrenaline, and that takes its toll on people. Uh, there's no doubt that right now she is dead on her feet. But, you know, sometimes the wild does that to you, and, you know, she's been in tough, tough terrain, completely alien environment for her. But worthwhile things in life come at a price, and they don't come easy. One more huge obstacle lies between Miranda and the comfort of her chalet. 100 feet of ice-covered rock face that will compel her to undergo the first abseil of her life. It's going to take all of Bear's skills to get Miranda down and all of her courage. You know what, treacle pudding goes a long way to helping that. Feed me. <laughs> but it is, it is normal, you really, you know, you have worked your max on this. And in at a day's time, you look back and in a way, it's the lows that make the high, you know? So um, this will be a big part of what you feel proud about. You've come through this and... OK, I'll you know. tell you if that's true later. <laughs> <laughs> it's 
So you just wouldn't get in a lift? No, before. I wouldn't get in a lift. I know about three other actresses who weren't going to lift. We're comedy actresses, isn't that weird? Oh, yeah, it's yeah. weird. But it's funny, you kind of stare sometimes those fears in the face a little bit. Yeah. And they're not as big and gruesome as it's you just might stupid. imagine. It's just habit. Yeah. I think my family have always been quite anxious people. And, um, and I just sort of got, by about my mid-twenties, I just got bored of it. And um, wanted to change it, so I always had the dream of getting into comedy, and that's when I sort of dug in and kind of went for that. And then being on stage and writing. I think writing was a bit of an escape because you're creating a sort of fantasy world. Mm. And so that's an escape from the reality of fears. Maybe a lot of writers feel that. And now I just want to get rid of all the fears. Yeah. Hence coming with you. Yeah, well, you've done that. You know, Not that you've, I you've... regularly need to be in the Alps, but it just <laughs> means if you do something extreme like this, you're then stronger at home with your little things. Mm. I'll definitely get in a lift after this. Great. Easily. Actually, the key to everything you've done is being persistent. Yeah. And you've done it, and it's the same with this. It's actually about being persistent and, and feeling tired like this and then finding things that pick you up and cheer you up, whether it's comedy or treacle, treacle pudding. pudding. And then keeping going. And actually, it's the magic to succeeding in something. Yeah. So here's to you. Here's to us. I don't have a drink, but I'll punch your flask. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do it. What? That was a manoeuvre. Can Go. I do that without my backpack? Yeah, throw it down. Brilliant. I'm not even needing you, look. Loving it. Oh, you make it look easy now. Oh, yeah, sure. Okay. Yeah, sure, Bear. Easy peasy. <laughs> wow. Oh, oh, my God. A little bit of a dead end. The cliff face is stepped in two sections, with a ledge about 20 feet below them. Beyond that is a far greater drop. Give me one second, we'll throw a rope around that tree. <laughs> I just have to trust better right now. But, you know, the sort of fear, stupid little girl inside me goes, that looks a bit dead. But <laughs> <laughs> It'll probably come away, you know, all those stupid fears. So, yeah. Okay, come over here. It's not usual behaviour. Oh! So, your left hand's going on there. Okay. Your right hand is going on this. Okay. And what you'll be doing is walking yourself down the face. Now, keep your left, keep this hand straight. Okay, now when you want to stop, touch your bum. With and when the you right. Want to go, Reach your hand out to the side. That's it. Okay, it's going to be exactly like that. All right? So stay there. You're not going anywhere. I'm just going to go first, all right? Oh my God, oh my God. Oh my God. Great, stay there. You're doing great. Ow, 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 ow. Fuck. Okay. I hated you then. <laughs> I nearly poked my out on a tree. And you'll love me in 30 seconds. Let's go. God. So left hand on the top. Right hand on the lower rope and just walk yourself down. So keep your arms straight, keep it straight. Put all your weight on that rope. If you put your weight on it, the rope will pull it through. So that's it, oh keep your my hands God. down there. Okay, so put all your weight on the rope, lean right back. You're not going anywhere now because I've got you, okay? So lean right back. That's it. And now you can ease your arm Guys, up Guys, I'll just say this. Just off camera. There's a very strong chance there's no way I'm doing that. And I'm not joking. Okay. Trouble is, when your legs are jelly, it's not, not easy. That's it. Great. Look at that. Strong. Well done. Oh, my God. Fantastic. Miranda has completed her first ever abseil and is about to undertake her second. The trouble is, it's three times the height. Well done. Does it feel all right? 
Yeah, I, I, I can't <laughs> do that. Yeah, it's bad. <laughs> do you know what? Let's get on the rope together and just do it together. These ropes, you can hold a Land Rover off them and they'll be fine. I weigh more than that. <laughs> That's the which problem. Would, would you, if I could bring a helicopter now and take you off, which would you prefer? Seriously, I, I'm verging on the helicopter. I'm, that is no word of a lie. Um, guess what? No helicopter. It's going to be great. Wait, is that done up? 100%. Look, OK, so come down with me. And what we're going to do first was just put our weight onto it, OK? So we have absolute trust in this. All our weight, put all your weight on it. OK, I've got control of us. We're going to slowly ease ourselves back. OK, and walk it down, leaning right back, feet out on the face. Have you just broken wind? Yeah, I have a very loose bowel right now. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. God, I, I, I'm rising on the point of fainting. If I faint... But don't joke. Just grab this rope, OK? <laughs> Doing great. That's why I'm scared of that movement. It's great, it's great. Okay. What happens if we like bounce off? We won't bounce off. <sighs> okay, let me look down, you look up. Great job, Miranda. Oh, fuck. Perfect. Just keep looking at that road, looking at your footing. I've got control of us. Good step over here. Nice. <sighs> We're on the flat, it's just icy, okay? So we're just gonna walk backwards. Hang on, hang on. Okay. I'm slipping, I'm slipping, I'm slipping. The ropes, we get over this icy bit, okay? Find your cutting? <laughs> no. Take a bit of step. Wait, 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 wait. We're so close. Here we go, and I'm pulling you back to me now. Reach out to me, give me a hand. Go, 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 go. <laughs> Have a look back at that. Well done, you. I'm shaking. You know, you conquer something like that. I mean, you said to me when we first started out, you said, listen, I'm warning you, I'm really bad with heights. Yeah, I, can, I don't go in an elevator, you know, and you've just come down, it's probably, you know, 60, 70 feet, committing, steep slope, ice at the bottom, so you can't even stop there. Total respect, well done you, brilliant. <laughs> Gentle, because my... I've just killed my hands. Woohoo! Woo! The final leg of Bear and Miranda's Alpine Odyssey leads them off the mountain down into the valley for the last few miles. Little bridge across here. Um, I'm not fluent in French. However, <laughs> I think basic rules. Je believe <laughs> that means. Uh, Say possible dangerous et, oui, et also privé. I love the fact that I can now go. Yeah, I mean, when I was in the Alps abseiling, and then Goodness. there was another trip when I was in snow boots over a glacier. I think I'll make them lots of different trips to sound like I'm a real traveller. <laughs> Stop bouncing it! <laughs> no, no, I'm starting to steady it. <laughs> oh, see. <laughs> I do feel elated and I do feel amazed that I've had such a. What a fantastic experience. And to get to know Bear and go through some fears and feel, you know, like I'm physically strong, stronger than I thought I was, is amazing. But, yeah, I can't quite take on board that, you know, I I'm not very good at doing that. That was me patting myself on the back in case you're confused. I'm really proud of her. Um, it's exciting when you see people face the massive fears head on. And really, that's why she's a champion. Let's I'm get across do it. Then. to face my fears. Woo! Great, there you go. That was elegant. There's no, there's no pop the other I've mainly learnt to stop bloody worrying. You know, which is the biggest lesson anyone can learn, I think. <laughs>